Good day, folks, and welcome back to the Vacation Zone. And in this particular episode of um, Crash, um, data presented for SS1 to 3, we're going to be dealing with crash recovery. And in this episode, I'll be talking about the um, various means and measures that are used to ensure data integrity by recovering data loss after a crash. So basically, what does this have to do with um, data based processing? So this basically has to do with the fact that um, after um, data is lost due to um, many, uh, com um, um, let's say, um, the, the things that compromise the integrity of data, like and the confidentiality and the availability of data, those conditions that compromise those these three principles of good data, when these conditions are breached, you have um, loss of data often or corruption of data, and in this process, um, the um, data owners might be looking for ways of recovering and um, regaining that data, or even if not that exact data, they might be looking for easier ways of getting do those um, that lost um, data to uh, be recovered. Now, that is where crash recovery comes in. And crash recovery has to do with the process by which database is moved back to a consistent and stable or usable state. So basically, what this means is that um, instead of the state in which it was inconsistent, Data crash recovery involves when you convert your data back into the um the a, a form that is similar to what it was in before. And when we talk about crash recovery, it has to do with three um major steps. And we talk about um, alg algorithm for recovery and isolation interpreting semantics, which is ARIS. Let's just call it ARIS. Now we'll talk about that in a separate section of this video, but basically let's talk about the um, fundamentals of crash recovery. Let's assume you Lose, you lose your files in your phone and then you might mistakenly deleting them so you can actually make use of um, some special software like um let's say dr phone or this um depends wonder share so there are some specialized software that can help you to recover your lost data files so you do that by basically you just get to the folders and most of the time, in some type of um, operating system and um, devices, when you delete your data, you don't they don't actually get totally deleted from your device. It's not totally deleted at at once. So you get it. So there's still some chance that you can still recover those deleted files. So that is where we have all these um, crash recovery coming in. And this crash recovery, there are different ways. There are different ways. But these conditions, what are the conditions that can lead you to lose your data? You can have power failure. Can have a hardware failure, just like maybe when we see had the um, the the hard drives which used to rotate very fast. So at times there could be some failures with the mechanical part of the hard drive, and then you have um, a loss of data. So that's one of the conditions that can lead a um, computer user to need crash recovery. Now let's talk about something else, and that is the recovery procedure after crash. That is a areas that it's actually a um, it's an abbreviation, ERIS, for the Algorithm for Recovery and Isolation Exploiting Semantics. So this recovery works in three phase phases. So we have the analysis phase, and the analysis phase is computes all the necessary information from the log file. So basically, for example, if um, I lost my, my um, maybe a video on my phone, but this time around, we are dealing with database. So let's talk about something more serious, like a database of your customers. Maybe you own a small business and you have customers. Then you need a database you, of the um, the goods bought and the dates and the um, other information about your business. And then mistakenly you deleted that database. So basically, the first thing that your um, crash recovery will um, involve it is the um, analysis of that um, that file. So basically, that log file means the place where the file was. So whatever folder you might have stored the files will be analyzed. And then you have the next stage, which is the redo phase. So this redo phase restores the database to the exact state at the crash, including all the changes of uncommitted transactions that we are running at that point in time. So that is the redo phase. And then we also have the undo phase. Now the undo phase it um, undoes all the uncommitted changes and leaves the database in a consistent state. So after the redo phase, the database reflects the exact state at the crash. So after this um, redo phase, the um, database reflects the exact state. But for the changes of uncommitted transactions. They have to be undone before the database can then be restored to a consistent state. So these are the three stages involved in crash recovery. 
to get the analysis we do and undo it. And basically, I want to talk about crash recovery, which is um, a, a part of um, of data that is very important. It's very important because it involves one aspect of data that cannot be joked with when you lose files. So you always need to um, take precautions for these processes. Then we have um, the different um, we have different technologies and um, other recovery related to data structure. You have the right ahead logging protocol. So in this diagram, we have something that has to do with um, all the actions before each checkpoint will be checked, will be written into the log file after the action. So basically, your your um, your crash recovery involves when you are also trying to take note of every action, everything that was done on that file. Because in, in computers, everything that is done with the file, they have been stored, every action that is done with the file. So it needs the actions, those actions. So this, this is kind of like a, a list of the actions that were, that were carried out on this file before it was deleted. So this is kind of one thing that will be used when you are trying to take a crash recovery. So apart from crash recovery, there's one sub sub team of crash recovery known as media recovery. And media recovery deals with the failures of the storage media holding the um, permanent database. So and when we talk about the media recovery, the archive log, log containing the um, log record, that is the file basically, the record of the, um, it's kind of like, should we say the thumbnail, so just like your files have your extensions and thumbnails, so it's kind of like your archive log is something related to your file. So it contains a log record of for all the committed changes which are not yet reflected in the um, archive copy. So that is the new copy of your replaced file. So after you have done the um, recovery, you have an archive copy. So and then at the end of the day, after your processes, you will be able to reconstruct those um, processes by by, by um, keeping track of all the changes to the data and then those are undone. So basically, that is the um, that is the basics of crash recovery, and we've come to the end of this video. So yeah, we are dealing with exercises. So the first one is explain crash recovery, explain the um, following points: media recovery, checkpointing, and right ahead log protocol, and discuss the concepts of ARIS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next episode.